Over the next two weeks, the Great Ship Inc. 1000 Smiles Dental Program will be operating in Cicero, Canaries, and the Bodley Correctional Facility. Great Ship Inc. 1000 Smiles is operated by the U.S.-based nonprofit Great Ship Inc. and provides access to free first-class dental care and education. Founded by Joseph Wright, also known as Papa Joe, the Great Ship Inc. 1000 Smiles Dental Program has been a staple across the Caribbean since 2003, operating in the islands of Jamaica, St. Lucia, and Grenada. This week, the 1000 Smiles Dental Program is running concurrent clinics at the Cicero Combined School and the Bodily Correctional Facility. The dental clinic wraps up in the community of Canaries from July 30th to August 4th at the Canaries Primary School. So we have, in week one, uh, we have 33 volunteers who've come in through Papa Joe's, Joseph Wright's initiation and leadership. They've come in from across the U.S., essentially, and they've given their time and service to the project. They will, they've come, they've worked for one week, they will leave. In week two, another set of volunteers will arrive and do the same thing. What they have in common is the location, the venue for bed nights and accommodation, which is Sanders Grand and Sanders Halcyon. So this is the contribution of the resorts to the project that they provide. People, young people, older ones as well, have decided to give back to their communities or to our communities through their vocations. And so they've come, the call has been made, and they've come. Um, we have male and female people from all ages, from young adulthood into more mature people who have agreed to give the service, and they really enjoy the experience. Now for them, the climate is one of the bigger deterrents because it's really hot and you can feel the heat your hair as well. So they really are suffering, but they're doing the work with good hearts and that's what it's really about. And it comes back really to just a random act of kindness that I like to talk about because you do something for somebody and it comes back to you. Nicole Smith is a project coordinator and has been affiliated with Great Shape 1000 Smiles for the past 18 years. She describes the work being undertaken by the charitable organization as heartwarming. I've done all the projects that they offer because, you know, they have the literacy, they have teacher teachers, they have the uh, eye care as well. So it's a big project that, and it's, it's just, for the years, you know, it's just so great to see the work that they have done, meeting so many great people and seeing the service. You know, you see someone come in with a, uh, a tool that needs to be filled and seeing that person coming out smiling and the changing uh, the changes on those faces to just see someone get a denture that has never have a denture before and when you look at that face and you see the tears the tears of joy it gives me the sense of wanting to do more as a fellow Caribbean person as well. Ms. Smith also describes the magnitude of the logistical preparation ahead of the delegation's visit. It's a lot of, you know, coming together as a team to get this work done, to get the equipment going, to get the, the, the toothbrush, the toothpaste, the flask and all of the works behind getting the chair set up, you know, the sweating and all of that. But it's awesome at the end of the day, to see that we can do it together, to know that it's all the Caribbean coming together. It's awesome. Dental hygienist with the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Mrs. Cheryl Shansi, says the ministry is pleased to be associated with the initiative, which has been bringing a much needed service to the doors of St. Lucians. It helps us because the department that we have, it is a small complement of staff and we will never be able to accomplish every task there is in dentistry. And so when they come here and their sisters doing procedures like fillings, cleanings, surgical extraction and, not, and simple extractions as well, it helps us in a tremendous way. And by extension, I should say it helps our country, St. Lucia, and all we can say is that we endorse it. We want them to come again year after year to help us out. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has assured that the delegation has met the requisite requirements for operating on the island. From the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Julita Peter reporting.